In our laboratories, we're developing new ultrasound-based technologies to advance this field of tissue engineering. The long-term goal of tissue engineering is to fabricate living, functional, artificial tissues and organs. I got involved because Diane contacted me probably a good 10 years ago saying she was interested in wound healing. So I was looking at the you know, biological mechanisms involved in wound healing and Diane had seen some lectures um, concerning how ultrasound might enhance wound healing and that suddenly a light bulb went off in my head and I said if it's a simple force and we can, it's kind of like you could whisper on a cell and affect the way the cell functions or the way the proteins are laid down, then maybe we have the opportunity to be able to control cells, control tissue organization simply by exposing them to different ultrasound parameters. Here I have an ultrasound set up. Right now I have particles suspended in water and when I activate the ultrasound it will non-invasively pattern these cells into uh, planar bands. One particular uh, type of tissue that we're focused on right now is creating microvessels, and creating a vascular network in the tissue. As we know, all tissues need a vascular network in order to survive, right? The vascular network is what brings the, the, the nutrients to the cells and takes away the waste products. You might think of the ability to create a vascular network in an artificial tissue as one of the largest challenges in tissue engineering and, and solving that is perhaps sort of maybe the holy grail of tissue engineering. When we use endothelial cells, which are the cells that form blood vessels in the body, we have shown that they form vessels as shown here. So we can make both capillary-like networks as well as thicker branching vessels. What's also really wonderful is that this environment provides a really wonderful opportunity for training our undergraduates and our graduate students in these multidisciplinary fields. So what we have here is our, the banded patterns that could be visualized using ultrasound. Tracking these cell concentrations gives us the capability to monitor cell migration and cell proliferation within these 3D engineered tissues. The research that's ongoing in our labs is really a wonderful uh, example of multidisciplinary collaboration at the University of Rochester. I didn't know anything about ultrasound before I started this. Diane didn't have the uh, ability to do the cell and tissue culture work, so when you put the two together, you have uh, two very different uh, worlds, if you will, of science coming together. Our joint collaboration on this project over the years has really allowed us to bring what were two very disparate fields, tissue engineering and ultrasound technology, to bring those fields together to what we think is going to really advance the field. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.